All right. Ten? Goodness. What? Who are these ten people here already? Oh, those ten people. Hey, ten people. What's up? What is this? Is this the... <laughs> that was the bear cam is what that was. <laughs> All right, let's take that off. No more bear cam? Is it over? Uh, I don't know. Is the bear cam over? I haven't looked at it since I've been home. I've been out of town. Hey, folks. Welcome, welcome. What the heck is my link to the bear cam, actually? Ah, here we go. Took me a minute. A couple of your favorite people. Hey, Jesse. Where are they? Where are who? These favorite people. Oh. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear. Okay, fine. Bear cam it is. Bam. All right. Welcome, welcome. It is post DC here. Uh, let me get my windows Not arranged. Windows. I think I made it too. Made what? Oh, the bear? No, the oh. the salmon. I think made it up. Oh, you're rooting for the salmon over here, huh? Once in a while. Nice. I'm nice. All right. Forty-eight. Laura, Alexander, Jesse, Fergal, Jesse again. David, what up, Yas? Anna. The only YouTube channel that you allow announcements for? Aw, thanks, Anna. That's awesome. Nice. Uh, it was up yesterday. That cool, Jared. Post enough so she's not spammed. Uh, you know, that's right. That's uh, that's right. I'm the uh, the least active YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, it has been since last week. I've uh, I only got home. When did I get home? Yesterday. Wednesday. What the hell is today? Today's, Today's Friday? Friday. I came home Wednesday evening, so it's been a it's been a busy busy week. Uh, hey, Viking. Hey, Susan Duffy. Paper cat lady says hi. Oh, I I know Susan, yes. I'm Laura says you have uh, super cute hair. <laughs> I am not happy with my hair right now. It's a thing. Growing out is the worst. It makes me question chopping my hair. I'm going to get it chopped again eventually. I know I'm going to do it, but it's so annoying. Cause just, this just always have it it's chopped. Weird. ABC, always be chopping. Always be chopping. <laughs> nobody else watches that show. It's just uh, literally nobody else that I know watches that show. Well, that's too bad. I know. Jesse also loves your hair. See, look at this. And I, she's, cl I cleaned it. Yay. That's a, all I... It's about time. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Scraggles, they all love your hair, too. They're um, just not saying it. Yes. It she beard. got brushed. She was gone, so the little girl that she stays with brushed her. So she's all nice and groomed. She was oddly groomed. That's yeah. true. Well, I mean, as groomed as she gets, at least. Yeah, we never... Uh, you should show the picture of her when we first got her. Oh. I don't even know where that is. I'll have it somewhere. Yeah, Facebook tells me once a year, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Anna says, hold tight, Audrey. It will grow. Uh, not fast enough. Fergal says, it's a lovely length. Uh, no, I'm not even, I'm, Sandra says, hi. Anna wishes her hair was so smooth. Uh, I wish my hair was so no, present. No, no <laughs> curl can be within this. That's the other thing. So, um, yeah, so we, got, we went to the DC Pin Show last weekend. A lot of people here were there. Hey, Tony, what's up? Uh, spam biotin, it helped with your hair. I, uh, yeah, it's not going to help with this, unfortunately. I take so. biotin for my hair and nails as well. She does, yep. Uh, yep. What's the beverage? It is a strawberry bubbly. You haven't really had beer in a long time, have you? Uh, no. Not really. Um, my Aunt Marge bought a, a six-pack while I was up there. Well, actually, before I got there. Did she ever play, uh, play the ball? She play did. The ball? Yeah. Uh, yep, may have helped her finish a bottle of that. Mm. But, uh, uh, yeah, she's got, there's a, um, uh, shoot, who makes it? It's where we went to for the Baltimore pin show. Like, we went and had uh, dinner at this uh, brewery, and uh, we had pizza and stuff. It's that brewery. They have, like, a stout that she really likes, but she likes about that much of it. And so she uh, gets a six pack when I get up there, and then, uh, uh, you know, I'll I'll drink half and she'll drink half. So good times. Uh, you love my hair too? Nah, that's okay. You don't have to do that, Jesse. <laughs> uh, wow. Booze up for those of us who are still working. Uh, you know what? I actually just came in from mowing the yard and like took a shower and stuff, and uh, I haven't really eaten today, so maybe like drinking is not a great idea for me right now. So you know, also like trying to get skinny. So, you know. Audrey's doing a good job of that. <laughs> Just dead into the camera there. <laughs> Looks so hard. Hey, Becky, what's up? What is up? All right. So, uh, yeah, I had a great time in D.C. this year. You? Tired. Yeah, it's, still it's, tired. Yeah. It was uh, good. Yeah. 
Audrey plans to, uh, there's always the work bourbon. Nice. Um, bear cam and stream plus bear cam on your screen. Double bear cam. There you go, Oscar. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Audrey's planning to sleep the rest of the weekend. I actually asked her today. Gotta have goals, you know? Gotta have goals. I asked her what she wanted to do this weekend, and she said sleep for two days. So that's probably what she's gonna do. I mean, I probably said a week, but then I don't get weeks. So. Yeah. Sandra says she's still recovering from DC as well. Yep, that's the thing. Uh, DC is a tiring show. I pulled way too many late nights. Um, late even for me, so, you know, pretty pretty late. Uh, usually it was Nick and I shutting down the, the, the lobby, just, you know, hanging out, chatting. So that was good. People probably saw, like, you're probably used to seeing this. Oh, because, uh, yeah, face down, uh, yeah. just grinding nibs all weekend. On Saturday, you didn't get up, for, you sat down at, what, 9 a.m. and didn't get up until almost 7? So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's... I didn't stand up. I didn't do anything. I didn't eat, drink. Well, I did drink. Okay, I did have some my like, Diet Cokes. I need to have something. Didn't pee, didn't get up one time. And yeah. you're still so behind. So if you were waiting at our table, thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know at one, at one time somebody was like, oh, yeah, I'm like three hours behind in the line. And I'm like, and that's with two people doing nibs. Yeah, and, and so. yeah Scott, the other person, he got up one time. And he hustled back too. I mean, yeah, yeah, I saw him. He actually almost knocked me down. Yeah. And he went sorry, and then he looked at me and went, "Never mind." I was like, "Whatever, <laughs> I just keep going." Yeah, need to ink up your DC Envy ordered double broad sig. Oh, you got one, eh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Sent one to Becky. She got one right before. Yeah, uh, I was I gonna. It was one of those things that came in right before, and I was like, "I'm grinding nibs for DC. I'm gonna put that one off until." I just can't have it sitting there. I just did it. Right. Yeah. yeah, I just can't wait. <laughs> Bijou, yeah. Well, the bar shut down at like eleven or twelve, depending on the day, and then Nick and I would stay in the bar and like, I don't know. He'd draw words and we'd chat or whatever until like two. So draw words. That's what he does, man. Just draws words for a living. So, Jesse says she loves the sig you made for her. Oh, awesome. Robo Jim is at the Newark airport. That sounds awful. <laughs> no, I hear that's the good one. Oh, really? Well, no, that's what I hear. That's what Franklin told me. He's like, Newark's the good one, but oh. it's big, but I thought it was small. I don't know. Listen, I hear it's not that bad. I've been there once. So, since we just came home from D.C., it's uh, it's kind of haul video day, and we have... I've got a stack of stuff. I didn't get up all weekend. I didn't... Zero shopping, yeah. but I got a lot of things still. Yeah, I only got one pin at the show. I got more than one. Audrey did some uh, some bar shopping. Some shopping. Yep. Oh, there's a there's a nose right there. Mm-hmm. Hanging Hello, out. Hello, nose. Katie was down there. You coming over here, bud? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's gonna get his pig in the middle of the fair. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> They're questioning whether you ought to trust Franklin's opinion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tony says EWR is the best of the NYC airports. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I believe you. Uh. Yeah, people are saying better than Franklin LaGuardia. So, yeah, cool. I don't I don't know, man. I've never... I've actually, I don't think, ever been even through any of those airports. You've never been through JFK? I don't think so. I used to fly to uh, to Logan a lot, but, like, I don't think we ever... Uh, nose is better than Bears? All right. We'll have the nose cam up for... Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, you can't see him. He's off camera. Yeah, there, there's his there face. he is. There he is. He's had a boy finger out. That's oh. a little bit of a nose. EWR is no Newark? Cool. I was expecting an N in there somewhere. See? So. It looks like it's true. Yeah. See? Sounds like. Good job, Audrey. No I one. guess in this one instance we can believe him. Though. Yeah. Audrey knowing some uh, New York facts. Yeah. One fact. Uh-huh. Uh, you got two pins you weren't even there, Jesse? Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so, I don't know, you want to see, like, pens and ink and, like, other so, swag we got? Because we have a lot of leather stuff. Leather goods. Leather goods. Yeah, true. Um, you want to, what order do you want to do, Audrey? Uh, you want to do leather and order? then ink and then pens? It doesn't matter to me. Let's do, you want to do. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Actually, I'm going to put all the pens into this one box. There. Bam. They all fit in this box. Which is not a pen that we got this weekend, just happened to yeah, be in there. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Tony says, I don't always agree, often agree with Franklin because he's almost always wrong, but he's right about the airport. <laughs> Pins, okay. ink, other things, says Jesse. I'll make sure to mention that to him. Be like, listen, people don't believe you on anything, but they do agree with that. All right. So, um, I actually ended up with like eight inks at this 
at this pen show. I got zero ink. So you're the ink. In this relationship, you're the ink. I I just reap the benefits of it. In this it. relationship, I am the ink. Yeah. All right. Um, let me go to my little desk cam here. Hi. There we go. All right. So, um, let's see what I have here first. Let's do this. Let's do these first. So, I got a bunch of KWZ inks, actually. I got Grey Plum. Uh, I got Warsaw Dreaming. And I got... Let's turn on this light, too. And I got Foggy Green. These are all from Drum Ghouls. Uh, so, thank you very much uh, to the Drum Ghouls folks. That was fun talking with them. I always like talking about to uh, the Drum Ghouls. And uh, so, they said, hey, what do you want to review? And I said, I don't know, man. What, what do you want to tell people about? So... Um, Warsaw Dreaming is a very nice, and it appears like kind of shiny black. I don't know if that's, I don't know, would you count that as sheen? I mean, I'm looking, I'm not looking at your hand, I'm looking at your screen, and it looks sheeny to me. Yeah. Or something's glittering off of it. Well, it's not glitter. It's, it's not like glitter, a, but you know. Yeah. Sparkling. It's got a gleam. Audrey needs her own mic. No. Look, um, yeah, I know, so... I told you people are already griping about not being able to hear you, so I'm no, trying it's, to... Look, it's not how loud I'm speaking, it's the tone in which my voice is. It's just how it is. My Nobody can hear me very well. It's always if somebody can sort of hear, it's always me they're not being able to hear. It's just the register of my voice just can't hear it. So it's my my fault. I'll I'm, turn just, up. I'm just here to look at, not for anything else. Yeah, I'll turn not up. Not to, to, not to hear. Turn up the gain a little bit, move this a, a scotch. I've got a, so the problem is I have stuff here and so I can't get Audrey there. So I got to figure out a microphone situation for over here since she gets to come in here more I mean, often. I don't have to be here too. It's not my YouTube. No, I know. I like you here though. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Get her a lav mic. Yeah, the thing is, I haven't figured out how to do that with my PC, honestly. I have a lav mic, but it's a piece of crap and it just doesn't work very well. So, um, Need to get Audrey on mic. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, buy buy some merch. Mics are, <laughs> mics are expensive. Look at Mr. Nose in the corner. Well, <laughs> Nose put himself in the corner. There's he TV did. over here. You guys can't see it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to get a smaller chair too. This is the only other chair I have in here, and it's huge. So. And it's a very old chair. I love that chair. Okay, I'm just telling. I'm just saying it's old. All right. Uh, everybody else likes you here too. So. All right, back to the desk. So anyway, that's Warsaw Dreaming, which is this kind of cool sheeny black. Uh, I haven't got that in a pen yet, but I will soon. Secondly, and these all do have the uh, the awesome KWZ smells like vanilla thing going on. I was gonna ask you that because ever th that's the first thing when people say like, oh KWZ, oh that smell, I can't, you know, can I, I smell it? Actually, I don't think yeah. I've ever done it. Yeah, yeah. I I only hear people complain about it. Don't I don't smell inks? Why do people? I mean. I don't know. Oh, it's Elizabeth I'm Dowdy. Saying, hey. Like, maybe if people are sensitive smellers and they can smell it coming out of the pen. Okay. That smells super pleasant. I agree. To me. Very nice. You're uh, very da daring doing that over a, a Scraggles there. If it gets she on her, she's black. Whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is coming from a guy who got Vindaloo on Mr. Nose last night. Mr. Nose He's still... He's red. He has a spot on his back. I may have slightly stained Mr. Nose. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. You've bought merch and do your Patreon? Dude, I know. What? Feel weird about smells. People are so Security's nice. Security's fast. That good. Uh, all I know is don't ever smell diatromentous inks, especially not the scented ones. The almost died I... ones. Yeah, I know there are scented ones. I don't know if... I... Do you... I, I'm not using them anymore. I've got a couple. Yeah. Um, so remember you got me ages ago a Lamy Nex for my birthday. The yellow one? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yellow Nex. Uh -huh. yep. um, I immediately put um, detriment to sandalwood in that thing. <gasps> I and you when you said that one. Yeah. It reeked so bad that I had to take it out of the pen, and I couldn't get the scent out of the pen for, like, months. It might still smell like that. I don't know. It's in my binder over here. But it was absurd. Like, I like sandalwood just fine, but holy crap, too much. Um, also, I gotta say, I hate the KWZ boxes. These are awful. Because they have these little tab things, this little tab thing you put in there. But you can never get this out without ripping the corners, and then it's even harder to get out. So I actually have to get, like, a letter opener or a knife or something to put under there to poke this tab forward to bring it out. Why don't you just cut that part off? 
Well, because then you can't ever close the box. And I want to close the box. I want it to open and close. I'm picky. Know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a solution. This yeah, I don't know. Quiet. <laughs> I don't know. But it's, anyway, that's annoying. Uh, but, uh, you know, the bottles are very nice. It's got a big wide opening. Everybody likes that. You can get a pen in there. Katie was eating smells like Bath and Body Works, turmeric and st turmeric stained nose. I think it is the turmeric, yeah, probably. I mean, it's like a bright orange vindaloo that I got on him, so it's curry, so it's probably... There's one probably tiny not. piece of paper in the corner, and that's what he wanted to sit on. That's the, that's why he's back there. Makes makes sense. Rowan Klingner Alt Goldgroom smells exactly like Southern Comfort. Oh, interesting. I've got some Alt Goldgroom. Me too. But... I've, yeah. Spicy nose. Yep, there you go. That's what it is. spicy, yeah. Matthew here says you can smell it coming out of the pen, but he doesn't mind it that much. I don't think I've ever smelled it coming out of a pen, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not close enough to that, I guess. Uh, but I kind of like it. I like it. Um, all I know is, uh, You're showing inks. Yeah, I'm showing inks. I know. I'm reading chat. Sailor I'm distracted with the smell thing. So. Sailor inks are the bad smelling ones. Yeah, those don't smell great. That's the... Really? Is it... They smell bad? They smell like... Um, Isn't there a pilot that smells bad? Uh, I don't think so. No, the, the sailor it? ones smell like um, whatever it is you keep from uh, keeps mold from growing in there. What's that, that stuff called? Um, you know what it's called? Phenol. Yeah, it smells like phenol. Yeah. yeah, it's not great. We need Laura sniff horse. Oh, it smells like horse. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, cut the corners of the, off the, of the tab. Yeah, but then you can't get like it doesn't close, does it? Yeah. Can you just cut off the the one part of it? Here, let me see it. Give me scissors and give me the box. Let me see it. If I ruin it, then whatever. It's a box. Take it out of the box. Yeah, Just put it cares. in your little thing back here. New Mont Blanc ink scents are pretty terrible. The ocean one smells like Dracar Noir. Oh, that is pretty bad. See, you can't even open it. Oh, you got it. Well, never mind. I have problems. Sailor ink smells like wet gym socks. I don't know about that. Uh, box is super annoying. You're a gentleman and a scholar, I believe you. Try a sample of standard grapefruit and you'll love it. Yeah, I've got a piece of, I've got a, a little thing of grapefruit too and I uh, haven't really had a chance to use it for science. Only getting a small, faint smell from Algol Green. Inkbox surgery stream, that's what's going on back there. Maybe it's just there's too much tab. Is that the... Uh... Alright, I don't know who said cut the, cut the corners off. Sebastian. Somebody said I didn't Sebastian know wins said the day. Do you want scissors? Thanks. I was going to cut the other one. Oh, well. you're going to fix the other two? All right. Well. And I'll show the ink. We've now seen how you do it. So here you go. Here you are. All right. Um, what did I not show? Oh, plum. The other one was gray plum, which doesn't really look gray to me. It looks like a pretty uh, bog standard violet, really. It's hard to tell. It's with that left corner. It's Sort yeah. of more grayish looking, at least on the screen here. Yeah, KBC is your favorite not red, not orange. Yeah, but fair more enough. put down, it looks more purple, yeah. <laughs> Sandra says two points for Audrey. Uh, Always. <laughs> B2 says somebody clip that high five. Do that, clip the high five. Well, just like that, who did it that one time? They did the... Um, oh, were you scared the crap out of me? That, but <laughs> the other one was the music for the cooking and... Mm. Zelda. Zelda cooking. Yeah. So we, there's been a few. Yeah. Becky says, teamwork makes the dream work. Fergal says, KBZ. Oh, uh, oh, grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Matthew's requesting a new Audrey KWZ box grind for $5. Okay. <laughs> Anytime. Send me your boxes. Apparently, I owe it, uh, Audrey $15 now. So, all right. So, anyway, I got those three. Those are from Drum Ghouls. I really like on the KWZ boxes, however, that they do just like smear some of the ink on top of the box. Because the rest of it, like, you can't tell. I mean, it's got a little thing back here, but I like that it's on the top. Um, seems good. All right. So, KBZ, that's cool. Next up, uh, I got some... Um, actually, I was talking with Lisa Van Ness, and she said, uh, Hey, I'm going to give you some ink, but and she was going to give me the new Vinta inks, but then she saw me griping on Slack that I don't like the real undersaturated stuff. And she's like, I'm with you, but I don't want to give you an ink that you're not going to like, maybe. So she didn't give me any of the Vinta inks, and I forgot to buy some. Um, so, uh, instead, she gave me this Pin BBS one called Santorini, which comes in this really pretty bottle. Um, the other one I have, or I guess I have a couple, but this one's just sitting here as well. This is, uh, Shanghai. It doesn't say Shanghai on it, so I, <laughs> I taped a post-it note to it. 
Uh, but this one is all shimmery and orange, and this one is just a really beautiful and blue. super awesome. I really like that ink. My griping works against, worked against me. I mean, so uh, the thing is I'm not actually griping necessarily about how it's undersaturated. Uh, the thing I was asking about on Slack, thank you very much, John, okay. is that, um, uh, oh, see, now this one doesn't stay closed. Took a little too much off the sides. Well, I think what it is is that the one had that inner one off, but now it's getting pushed from that, that thing. It's pushing it out. Oh, I think you just left a little bit of the tab on this one. Yeah, I think you just took too much off the sides on these other two. Well, I'm just going to leave. It's a work in progress. Look, man, it's just the first three times you've done it. Whatever. So, uh, anyway, now the problem with those inks that I've seen, and there are apparently a bunch of really saturated ones, is just that... Um, uh, I don't I, like. I don't get the like. I, I don't. Know, I see people like going nuts for them, and I don't get the joy of an ink I can't write with because it's just too light. And it doesn't show up on the pen uh, on the nib, so uh, it's not my jam. So I couldn't do it. Uh, I couldn't find the joy in it. So I was like, "Hey, what is it y'all like about this?" And it might have come off as like, "What the heck do you like about this?" But really, I just kind of wanted to know. Unread mentions. What I have here. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Cupcake Girl. That's the uh, that's Perfect. the old one of me freaking out. Um, you need a whole box fixing, fixing video? Yeah, well, we'll just have to narrow it down. I just have to buy some more, right? Vinta Unsaturated, the one you have with the Super Sheener? The ones I see on, on Instagram and the Slack are all, like, super duty light ones, like that Sailor, like, 1, 2, 3 and stuff. It's just like, I don't know. can't see what you're writing. It doesn't seem like it's any good, but, you know, if people like it, that's cool. And this is what Santorini looks like on, on a uh, color ring card. You can get those from our friend here, Anna Reinert. You didn't ask me to do the swatches for Venta. Uh, well, I believe you. Uh, I never, I didn't really have time to stop by the table, oddly enough. Like, I'd stop by and say hi, but y'all were busy all weekend, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is Santorini. And uh, I think it looks really nice. i got to get this in a pen. I haven't put this on a pen yet. Hi, yeah. Clipsy. So, anyway, this is a beautiful blue. That's right up my alley. Yep. Um, what else have I got here? Let's just put these away. I'll think if I don't have a box for this one. It's just, uh... I yeah. got that one and... You got it at San Francisco. Francisco. I might have just gotten rid of the box or something. Oh, I'll just throw away boxes. Well, no, maybe... I don't remember if it came with one. I got it from It Straits. might not have. Yeah, she got it from Straits. So maybe they didn't bother. Um, this is one that I bought. This is Sailor Sobuku. Oh, here you go. What? Oh, giant scissors? Thanks. Yeah. Um, uh, Sailor Sobuku. And uh, this is the pigmented blue black. Hi, yeah. Clipsy. She has things to say. She really does. Clipsy's got a lot to say to us today. And this comes in a different bottle than the other one I have. I have um, Kiwaguro, which is one I use all the time. It has lived in this pen for years Ever. and years. Yeah. I mean, kind of since I got this pen, yeah. I think. I'm not sure I've ever had another ink in here. Uh, but it's so good in here, I just leave it in there full time. Um, I don't have any pens that I do that. No? No. Well, uh, there we go. <laughs> I've been knocking down these Cleomi, se Cleomi seeds that I got from my aunt when I was visiting her. Those are spider plants, or spider flowers, I guess you should say, and they are great. Uh, anyway, it comes in a big square bottle that really reminds me more of the, um, like the Mont Blanc inks than any of the Sailor bottles I have. Uh, but, let's see if I can... Uh, there you go. It's like a real deep blue black. So, here's some loud meowing. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's Eclipse making her presence known. Okay. And this was, I think, I want to say it was like 18 bucks. Might have been 20. They're not terribly expensive. Huh. Maybe it's 20. Um, what, how, how many mils? 50. Mm. You know. Expensive. Well, the pigmented ones are more expensive than the regular line. And it looks like this, which looks pretty nice. It's uh, definitely a blue-black. And I've got it in a couple of pens already, wow. and uh, yeah, it looks nice. I've got it in my uh, my new Faginato pen. Did I show that before I left? I don't. It was on. It was like the day you left. So. That was the day I left. Yeah, so I haven't shown that yet. I'll show that here in a little bit. Put that over here. Um, and I have it in an Aurora Talentum with a medium nib. And that's um, a super wet one. That is a crazy wet medium nib, like maybe too wet, but 
Anyway, so I've got it in there. We'll see how it goes. But uh, looking forward to using that one more. These are Cleomi seeds. That's what they look oh. like. A couple of them fell out of the envelope. Uh, what else have I got left? Oh, I've got uh, a couple more. And the last one, in a full bottle. Actually, I'm going to catch up on chat just right quick because uh, I haven't done that in a bit. Uh, let's see. To those bottles of KVZ, by, by the way, so thumbs up. Cool. Shanghai so pretty. Yeah, it is, I think. Uh, yeah, Shanghai is great. In fact, actually, you do have a pen like that. It's that orange pen that has the uh, Shanghai. It's right there. Show me on that one. Yeah. I've never taken it out of a pen. So I guess I do have this one. one. I totally lied. I just said I don't do that. That pen. You do it. I do. Yeah. Um, this pen always has this ink, which is absolutely a perfect match for it. Yep. Um, but uh, and it hasn't clogged up or anything. They use really nice shimmer in that uh, that pin BBS ink. So good on them. Yeah. Right. Very happy with that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Santorini's excellent. Paper to pen. Yes. Oh, uh, Sailor One Two Three is at least fifty percent tone, half higher in a wet pen. Yeah. I mean, only fifty percent, right? Like, needs more. Needs more for me. Santorini is a pretty blue. That's the color of the tops of churches in Santorini. Oh, well, there you go. Um, just put it in a pen. Right on. Oh, the Soboku, Tony, I imagine. Um, you want to try that one? I believe you. Um, picked up Vinta Summer Green, and it doesn't seem very saturated, but that isn't super light either. Somewhere in the middle, huh? Uh, makes you want to go back to Greece again? Yeah, I've never, never been there. Yeah. yeah. Jim is back. Terry G is Soboku or the Sailor Pigmented. Generally safe to leave in a pen for a long time. It ought to be. That Kiwaguro has been in that pen for yeah. five years? Maybe? Like a long time. I just keep refilling it. It's, I've never even cleaned. I cleaned that pen out one time. Once. That orange one, I've never cleaned out. Right. Well, you've only had It's been less than a year. But you're getting there. It's shimmering too. Yeah, that's how it goes. Um, yeah, so so Saboku should be fine. Always looking for a go-to permanent black. Yeah, Kiwaguro is a good one. I like it a lot, and it is permanent for show. Hey Ferdinand, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we caught up. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Lastly, of the bottles of ink, I bought this one from Points Pens. This was a Papier Plume ink that Points Pens brought to DC. Uh, they're gonna have. I think they are gonna have it. I don't think it's exclusive to DC or anything like that. Um, this is a one ounce, thirty mil bottle, and I think it was like maybe ten bucks. They're uh, they're pretty uh, pretty inexpensive there. Did you see that they're gonna have a San Francisco ink? I saw that Papier Plume was yeah, gonna have a San Francisco ink. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is specifically four points pens. That's their logo. It has a little nib in the bottom of the the mountains and that kind of thing. Uh, Points Pens are my friends Larry and Hillary, and they're great. They used to be the diplomat uh, distributors here in the U.S., yeah. uh, and they, uh, they're they great folks. I had no idea they were going to have an ink, though. Like, I really, uh, I kind of wish they had told me, and I could have told everybody else to, like, get some or whatever, but... Yeah, uh, after the fact, really, that people knew. Yeah, I didn't find out until, you know, I happened to go by their table while I was doing the Friday live stream. And then a lot of people didn't know about it until actually after mm -hmm. the pen show, so... You know, it's uh, they didn't do a very good job publicizing that they were going to have it, but um, this is what it looks like, roughly. Of course, the camera, this desk cam is not awesome at picking up color, but it's a very nice kind of piney green. Um, yeah, it looks, can I see it in person? Yeah, you can, here in a sec, when I finish showing them. Um, it's a little bit light, like this is a little bit undersaturated for my taste. Uh, here, where it went down and sort of pooled, it was way better, but this is actually in a, uh, a Pilot Music Nib, Pilot, uh, Sailor Music Nib, and so that's about, that's about what it's going to look like, and it's looking way more blue on camera than it ought to, it's more green for sure, um, but that's about as dark as it's going to get, because that's a pretty wet nib, um, so I don't know if I'm ever going to see that color from a pen. Tony says, Space Knob, or Sp Spruce Knob is an unfortunate name. It kind of is. There you go. We'll give you that one. Spice All right. <laughs> a plus pen hygiene, Mike. Yeah, well, you know. Um, you should at least test it before and after cleaning. Uh, what's that? Oh, the pen or something? I don't know. Seems fine. Um, ever been to Farney's Pen Shop? I have not. 
It was on Instagram beforehand. Yeah, I didn't see it. I mean, Instagram is weird, and that like you never know when people, when or if people are going to see your stuff. Uh, joining late, welcome Scott Ross. Super time was unfortunate. Looks like I straight up blue on the webcam. Yeah, I don't know why it looks blue, but it's definitely green. Yeah, it's definitely green. Let me see if I can tune my webcam right quick. Uh, configure video. I gotta find this thing. Let's see. Try to change this a little bit. Now, is there a temperature I can change? Can change? Not really. No. That's all I got. I can change this a little bit. That's closer. No, it's still not green enough. I don't know. Oh, now it looks terrible. Oh no. Uh, configure video. Let's see. Can I do to make that less terrible? Not that. Uh, live video tuning with Mike here. I actually tuned it with an orange when I started out, and it turned out okay. But this is not great. Book can eats greens like a bank paper eats reds. Yeah, seems like it's tough to do. Anyway, there's that might look a little bit closer to reality, more greenish anyway. So anyway, that's that one. Um, but I'll uh, I'll be doing some writing with it. I'll have a video up eventually. Uh, the next two were samples, and these were actually handed to me in the bar one night, and I cannot remember who gave them to me. So uh, if you were a person who handed me a couple of ink samples, and I want to say these are from uh, these are diamine inks for like the Ohio Pen Club or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me know. A spruce knob is in. Oh, let's see. Are you tripping? Probably not, Terry. I uh, just came to, so I don't know what this is. It looks like Sailor Blue Black. Oh, uh, it just came in. Yeah, no, it's not. That was um, Spruce Nav. It does look kind of blue black. I don't know, this camera just eats greens, man, as Bijou said. Uh, so, anyway, there are two of these. One of them is Park of Roses, and the other is Storm Warning, and so I have little samples of these. Uh, and these look really nice, actually. It's Park of Roses. And then, yeah, see, it ate the green out of that. It just comes out as gray. Totally strange. see yeah it's a very murky green actually yeah it's... we'll just take some photos and post them on Instagram or somewhere and then you'll be able to get a color accurate yeah I know it's just irritating zoom focus exposure no no there's no temperature on this stupid thing I don't know why they wouldn't do that no contrast that no anyway Whatever, man. Anyway, those are the last two of those. They are here. Actually, I think this camera is doing a better job of it. What do you think, God? It's better, yeah. Yeah, so there you go, like that. That's it. I don't know why. It's weird. And this is spruce green. Yeah. Yeah, this camera's doing better at it. I don't know why. Totally weird. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. There's a little bit of sheen, actually, in this spruce green. In the corner. Yeah, you're not going to get that from a pen, though, unfortunately. So anyway, if you like undersaturated, these are a little bit undersaturated, this uh, this Papier Plume one. So those are the inks. So not not a bad ink haul, actually. Not, not bad at all. Let's see. All right, good. Caught up on the chat. Um, other stuff. Uh, let's do pens. I'm going to talk about some pens. Oh, I got one thing. I got two things of paper. We'll do those in a little bit. What's that about pens, Odd? I said pens are exciting. Pins are exciting. So, back to my terrible desk focus. See how it goes. Um, so this is a pen that I have actually had for a little while. This is the Spoke Pen that was a Brad Dowdy. Hey, Jonathan Brooks, welcome. Oh, hello. This, this is the Spoke Pen, which is a Brad Dowdy project um, with Spoke. I'm gonna try to make this blue. That's, that's pretty good, actually. All right, blue's good. Um, and this is a... Uh, this is a gel pen. It uses the Signo. Re wait, Signo? No, it uses. Uh, Energel? Yeah, that's right. Thanks. It uses the Energel refill. I, I know that. I don't know. I don't know. know anything about any refills either. Oh, no, man. I'm the one who told you not to post things like that because nobody cares. I do what I want. Anyway, <laughs> it's built around this refill. And uh, so I got this one as a review pen. And so I, this one's actually been up on the site for a little while. But. Uh, 
uh, I just got the one I actually ordered from the Kickstarter, which is this one. It's the orange crush. This one is the blue. Apparently, these were the two colors that he had problems with. Yeah. Uh, Signo DX refill, but works with inner gel. All right, so it is a Signo. All right, dope. Um, making Aiden's birthday cake right now. Wish you Aww. luck. Well, happy birthday to Aiden. Yeah. Um, so this is the orange crush version, which is like silver and chrome. Still got the titanium grip going on there. Uh, very strong magnet in these pens. Get some action at a distance. Spooky. <laughs> so they, uh, they do connect pretty hard. And actually, if I have these up on the desk with a bunch of my other uh, like metal-bodied pens, they tend to uh, stick to them. So that's fun. But this orange came out really nice. I'm really a big fan of this orange and silver one. So I'm glad I ordered that because I dig it. All right, so that's one. I didn't get that at the show, but it was definitely show adjacent. Is that over there? there. Um, other standard pens before we get into non-standard pens. Uh, my friend Steph was hunting for me all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. And she had gone to Asia, and she uh, she was kind of nonspecific about where she got these, and that's cool. She just like picked them up somewhere, but she found me a Marvel themed zebra sarasa clip, which I haven't actually started using yet. Uh, but these uh, zebra sarasas, especially with the clip, yeah. are really nice pocket pens for you know gel pen, gel pen sort of things. But uh, you got some you got some Avengers on there, that's fun. And then this one I actually just used today, and it's pretty cool. This is a Sailor brush pen. And um, like I don't know, porous point or something like that. And it's labeled Shikiori. It's got fine and brush. I don't know what it says in the back because it's in Japanese. But it's got a very nice brush. Mm, yeah, nice. right. And it's about the same color as like Toku Amatsu, the uh, the ink. So that's pretty cool. Sarasa clip is good. Sarasa is garbage. I don't know. I don't know. I've got. Uh, I feel like I've got some others, but he has you know. opinions. Yeah, apparently Tony's got opinions. Who knew? <laughs> Dig that Avengers pen? Yeah, you'll have to go to like, I don't know. I don't actually know where she got these. Yeah. Taiwan or something, maybe. Hong Kong? I, I don't know. She was traveling all over the place. Let's see if that says anything on here. Uh, nothing that I can read. It says, impressed? Of course you are, is what uh, this nice. says <laughs> in uh, little tiny thought bubbles. The other side just says, uh, <laughs> it just says clang. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. Those are some standard pens I've been playing with. There we go. Tony get just kind of a troll. Yeah, that's average. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's uh, let's start with this one. Brian Chu has not made himself known in the chat, but uh, Brian Chu of Red Dragon Pen Co. was at the show. It's always awesome hanging out with Brian. I pretty much only see him at that show. Uh, sometimes I think he's been to Baltimore too, but um, he's a really good dude. And he makes really nice pens, I think. And this is a shape I hadn't seen from him before, and uh, Audrey bought this from him at the bar. She was bar shopping. I was at the bar, number one. Let's let's let that, that sink in for a minute. I was at the bar on Friday. Crazy. Yeah, so what, uh, what made you buy this one? It's pink. And I almost bought this horizontal striped one. It really took me a long time to decide which one to get. In the end, Brian made the decision for me, and I appreciated that. He was very honest and said, this is why I think that you should get this one. And I said, sold. So <laughs> that's why I got that one. But it was a really fun, horizontal, striped one. Nice. And what color is it? Blue or green? I don't remember. Yeah, I, almost, I, I was pretty tempted by that one, too. And some of the wood ones he had were gorgeous, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what day were you in the bar? Was that Friday, Friday. night? Yeah, Friday night. Yeah, it must have been a little oh, bit dead. Oh, we have to tell the story about dinner on Friday, too. Oh, yeah. Let's... We, uh, oh, we'll wait for the end, because, you know, we always talk about food at the end of the live stream. There you go. Uh, Shiki Ori markers are apparently available on Rakuten. There you go. Oh, That's how you can get them. Yeah. That's how you can get them. Uh, awesome to have Audrey hanging out at the bar. People like it. Uh, Anna says, way to go, Audrey. That's gorgeous. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Becky says she would pick that pin up at a bar. <laughs> right. It's got a very nice white section here. It doesn't have a nib in it because it's uh, fitted for Yovo nibs, and we've got those. But uh, there you go. That's, uh... I'm sure I have a nib somewhere that I could put in there. Yeah, probably one or two. Yeah. Anyway, so that uh, was Audrey's first pin purchase. I like that it sort of dips in on the ends. That's what I really like about it. Yeah, I like the, I like the indent at the ends. I think, yeah. I think that's nice. Yep. Yep. Uh, he was doing that before Kara's Customs was with their Vertex. They got the same dip on the end. 
I know. Yeah. I know. So just not the right cover, color combo. It's cool, Jim. You don't have to have it. Uh, Jonathan says, Audrey took my place at the bar. I had to play dad. <laughs> nice. Uh, didn't mean to forget. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, I wasn't expecting necessarily anybody to. Uh, we're not holding against you. It's not y'all's fault. We had terrible dinner, but we'll get to that later on. Terrible. Uh, Laura Cameron loves hers. Reval says, feel, feel them dimples. Preemptive apologizing. There you go. Ink it now. It's going to be wet. I mean, it depends on the nib, really. <laughs> so yeah. uh, let's do the other one of Audrey's pens that she bought at the bar that night. And uh, that's this one. This is... Uh, is anyone surprised? No. I don't know. Tell people about this pen a little bit. I don't know how to say things in Japanese. It's the mushroom pen. It Kingdom is. Kingdom Note mushroom pen from Sailor. So Kingdom Note does these special edition Sailor pens. And they have all kinds of weird themes. Like you've got a carrot pen. Is that in this case? No. Oh, it's in the smaller I one. I have huh? it if you want to show it. Yeah, you want to go grab that? I do. Awesome. Sure. So she has the carrot one. I, I got her that one off of uh, the Slack group a, a while ago. Uh, and this is the mushroom pen from whom? This came from Joseph, actually. Um, they have matching inks and that sort of thing, too. Uh, we haven't got the ink, but if you look closely, it's got a little mushroom on the nib. Is it? Yep. Is that right? That's, that's totally what that is. Huh. Definitely that one. Huh. Finial needs to be white. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with it being brown because the end is brown. I don't know. I don't really mind that. If they made that in the real size, you'd probably buy one. Oh. Yeah, same Z's. Hey, there's Joseph from whom the pen was bought. Oh, yes. Is it this? Oh, I thought you were handing it to me. There you go. Cool. Yeah. This is the Sailor Carrot pen, which is green on top and red on the bottom. And then it has a, uh, has a little carrot on the nib there. There we go, like that. They also have an eggplant one, and I don't know, yeah. a few others. I don't really remember what all they have. If you have one and are selling it, let me know. Uh -oh. I, I need to fill my collection. Yeah. Hey, you got all your, ret not retros, your road trains. Yep. I need to fill my. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. That's right. S same uh, price. Yeah. A snake? What are you talking about, a snake? There's no snakes. There's no snake. I don't know. BJ said snake, a snake. I don't know, man. Hmm. Um, oh, that's what the mushroom looks like? Well, all right. Joseph let me buy that pen despite my um, harassment of him this weekend. So, Joseph, thank you for letting me purchase your pen despite my harassment of you. You and harassed I him? I'm not going to bring it up again. I brought it up way too many times. Oh. But, Mike, you remember what I'm talking about. Yeah, now I do. Yeah. Uh, I got my first sailor pin this summer. You've got, since gone wild. That's rough. Yeah. yeah. Audrey's garden is way prettier. What, well, thank what? you. I don't know what that means, but What's thank a garden? you very much. What are you talking? Oh, oh, it's a garden because you've got a, a mushroom and, uh, <laughs> and a carrot. I was like, I don't really know what we're referring to, but what, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's much prettier than the uh, road trading collection. Yes, that is true. Accurate. It's fine. Uh. So, Joseph says harassment, haranguing, etc. Yeah. <laughs> we need a badger pin. Yeah, that'd be dope. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then these two. So one of the big, um, uh, big excitements of the show was that Ian Schoen was there and he had a fountain pen that he had designed and finally brought. Someone find the link to explain the badger references for Mike? Yeah, if you would. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So. <laughs> um, Audrey and I each had to get a uh, an Ian Schoen fountain pen. We had to. It was mandatory. So I've had this one, which is his uh, ballpoint version. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just like the I don't know, version two or something it's called. Um, and it's a very nice pocket pen. Uses a uh, space pen refill or D2 refills with an adapter. Uh, but this thing is um, this thing is it's tough. These. Uh, are way lighter. I was expecting yeah. the fountain pen to be much heavier like this one and I was also expecting it to be more expensive. So these pens, these ballpoints, go for about 80 bucks a piece. Um, they are not cheap. So, uh, but I mean they're kind of bomb proof. This is a great pen. And actually I've had this in my pocket for probably two years and I think I found a little patch of wear up here somewhere where maybe it had been scratched. But I just throw it in the pocket with my keys, whatever. This thing is tough. Um, these are made of aluminum and they are very, very light. Uh, in fact, almost maybe too late. Like, I forget that it's in my pocket and I freak out that I lost my pen. Um, but uh, he had these anodized uh, because the bare, like, tumbled aluminum wasn't going well. So, 
Uh, Tina Tree, welcome. So damn jealous about the shown pin. Hello, Mike and Audrey. Hey, what's up? Hello. Ian has an awesome anodizer. I think he said he had two. He's got one in like Ohio and one somewhere else, I think he said. Um, this pin is far too short to actually use unposted for me. I mean, that's just... I have. I've you can do it? things with it. I mean, but yeah, I have baby pens that I use. But, I mean, it's not comfortable, but if I'm going to do a quick signature or something, I'm, yeah, I don't post it. I don't bother. Yeah. Um, but they screw to post. Uh, it's a very short screw to post. Like, I don't know, one turn. Pretty darn nice. Uses a number six nib. These are currently Bach nibs. He's going to start... Um, uh, making sections that will accommodate a Yovo nib. He didn't have a good source of Yovo nibs, so he went with Bach. That's uh, basically what happened there. And he's agnostic. He just doesn't really care. He just wants people to be able to use whatever they want. So he'll probably be selling uh, sections in the near future for Yovo nibs so that you can put whatever nib you want in there. And if you combine that with like Flexible Nib Factory and all the, the custom stuff they make, uh, the maker is Ian Schoen. There's the, uh, that's his company, Schoen Design. Uh, and he's uh, he's a really good dude. He makes watches. He is uh, he is delightful, Ian Schoen. He is. He's, he's so. quite a character in a good, the best way. Yeah, definitely a character, that guy. He's great. Total rip off the Moon Man mini. Yeah, totally. Um, so this is, uh, it's got a nice flair to the section. It doesn't feel too small, even though it is quite light. But when you post it, it's a great length. And um, yeah, I like it. I think both these nibs needed some tuning up, but luckily I have an Audrey to do that kind of thing. I don't know if mine need tuned. I just ground it immediately. So <laughs> she has ground it. Yeah, great watches too. Expensive. Yeah, I mean they yeah. are expensive for sure. They are. Uh, what would y'all recommend for a green ink for journaling? I'm sure the hive mind there can help you out. You got to tell them what kind of green you're into though. Yeah. There are so many greens. That's uh, you got a lot of greens. All right. Um, other stuff. Uh, let's do this piece of paper right quick. Um, the other thing that Lisa Van Ness of Van Ness Pens gave me was this, which is a, um, a really nice pad of this Life uh, Bank Paper. I keep hearing about bank paper, and I uh, hadn't actually seen any, and she had some. She was actually going to give me some other uh, paper. I forget what it was. I think it was the new sizes of Midori. The I, cotton paper? Yeah, the Midori cotton. Yeah. They changed the size, and so I was going to play with that, but she sold it all, and that's awesome, so <laughs> it's fine. Um, this one is bank paper. Let me see, what have I got on here? Oh. Uh, so when you open it up, the, actually the first sheet is a, a pink page of blotter paper, which I actually really appreciate. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. You know you can get people who will write on it and it will probably bleed or something like, oh, this paper's bad, why is this here? You know, I did that with another thing. But well, we'll I'm just saying that happens. It's good that you mention it because some people will be like, I don't know what this is, what is it for, you know? Yeah, I did that with a... Um, Actually, it might be it might actually be this one. Let's see. I did with one of mine too. One, yeah. I mean. So this is an ink journal. This is the first time I'd actually used Tomoe River paper, um, and the first page of this I I wrote on, and I'm like, this kind of what? I'm like, why, it's why do people like this? Yeah, I'm like, this is fine, I guess. It was also very difficult to use the guide sheet because this first page is much thicker. And I'm like, I mean, it's fine, but I guess like it bleeds. I bled through over here. I'm like, why do people like this? So I didn't even try the second sheet, which if I had turned the sheet over, would have been like, oh, yeah. this is entirely different paper. Yeah. But it was white, and I didn't know, and I'd never used to my river, so I thought it sucked. So the fact that this one does blotter paper, but also it's pink, um, yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. So this is the paper, um, and it is actually, I, I super like this paper. This is made uh, in their Mitsubishi factory. Uh, for banks and they uh, I, I asked what the story was from some paper aficionados and apparently the deal is they just needed to make a paper that would work with no matter what the pen was whether it was uh, uh, ballpoints like it is or whether it was uh, you know fountain pens or something this orange is actually the orange that was in here Ian was doing um, diamine cartridges in these and uh, so, of course, I got Diamine Orange, which is gorgeous. That's a really nice orange. It's coming off darker on the camera than yeah, in real but life. It's but yeah, it's really nice. But it's super bright, yeah. Let me just uh, go here. Yeah, this one. That's the, that's the orange in better light. But it's a really bright, in-your-face orange, and I dig it. I'm going to have to... I've got Diamine Pumpkin, and... Very uh, readable, but, you know, it's not right? too... Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. And then down below that, I have... Um, 
uh, Sailor Chu Shu, which is like a gray purple. That's like a real purpley gray, that one. I don't know. It's not going to focus. Anyway, both of them uh, look great on here. I didn't have any problems with it coming through the back, even a little bit. And this paper is fairly thin. So, um, Can you feel it? yeah, yeah, there you go. He doesn't show me anything until the live stream, so he just keeps it. Yeah, I mean, the thing was, Audrey left on Saturday on Sunday night, like, quick. And, uh, I, didn't get home. I mean, I still didn't get home until almost midnight. Yeah, so. right. Well, but I didn't come home until days later, yeah. so. And then you've been working all week. It's been, this is the first time I've really seen Audrey since the show. Uh, it has texture, but it's not annoying. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah, it has a feel. I mean, yeah. it's not like Tumblr River, but it's still smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, life, ivory. Life doesn't make the paper? Oh, I wonder who makes the paper. Mitsubishi makes the paper, I guess, huh? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm going to have to do some research. I only just got it, so. It's produced by, but. Never have good luck with life paper? This is really, this is definitely the best life paper I've used. The pistachio is pretty good, too, but. Um, this bank paper is really nice. I'm, I'm How digging much is it. it. I don't know, is the answer. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's helpful. Look, man, I can't be. What am I gonna do? Prepare for a live well, stream? Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm sorry I ask questions. I am too, frankly. If you didn't ask questions, I wouldn't be exposed as not knowing what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, let's see. Last day, fifteen bucks. Oh, that's, that's a lot of paper for that. That's yeah, it's quite a few, quite a lot. Uh, hundred sheets, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep, these are uh, A fives, top bound, fifteen bucks. I'd say it's definitely, definitely good. Yeah. Fifteen bucks there, eighteen on jet pens. Nice. I hadn't seen it on jet pens, so cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, so that's it. That's that one. I don't think I'm going to use this camera over here for anything else. So, I know. Can y'all hear Audrey better now that I have this up here? Is that, uh, I don't know, Audrey. You don't let me talk enough for them to know. <laughs> Tell like, us about. She's so mean. No. <laughs> Tell us about this. No, you, you know. I mean, I don't know what they said about her. Oh, I do have one other thing that I got. Oh, yeah, you should, should have done that with the ink. Yeah, I know. I should have. I set it over to the side and I blend it in. Um, the other thing, this was actually, this was given to me by Points Pens. No, Thank you very much. this is water, not vodka. <laughs> She's just drinking a straight up bottle of vodka. It's Friday. It's been a long week, guys. This is a handmade soap that Hillary at Points Pens makes. It is Ink Lover's Soap, and it is specially formulated to get ink off of your hands. Uh, mild and effective. It's got a lot of tea tree oil in it, I think. It's, uh... Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So if you don't Which like this, I don't mind the smell. I like the smell of the tea tree oil. I like it a lot. Um, Aunt Marge was like, "Oh, she hates it." Of, but, oh, really? Yeah. Yes. So no, don't no more tea tree stuff for her. But I haven't had a chance to try this yet, so I'm looking forward to it. it looks like it's got a little bit of charcoal in it, maybe. But uh, you can check that out on their site. I'll let y'all know how it works. So there's that. All right. Uh, I had to step away for a minute. Mike is that a block of tar? It is not a block of tar. That would be weird. No, that was, um, that was uh, the Ink Lover's soap. You tried a sample of it, huh? It works pretty well? Good. See Although the... you use a lot of soap that is much darker and more tar-looking than that. Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. The uh, African black, uh, was it African black, black soap? It's black soap, yeah. Yeah, African black soap. I love that stuff. And coal face from a face, so. You got a travel tube of that soap? That's fun. Is it available? Yeah, it should be on points pens. Yeah. Uh, let me it's find available. it. I'm sure it is. Um, let's see. There it is. Ranges from six fifty to nine bucks, and it is there. Let me make this bigger. If I can. Join a mailing list. I'm already on that. There you go. Ink lover soap bar size. Oh, you get a whole bunch of different sizes of bars. Yeah, there you go. Um, essential oils, exfoliants, and other natural ingredients. Fresh smelling unisex hand soap will be a writer's favorite. That looks like that, kind of. Yep. Any who's all. Yeah, so check that out. That's at pointspens.com. That would be nice if that works well. The stuff I use is, it doesn't dry my hands out, but it's very gritty. Very yeah. gritty. So. Yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll try that out. We'll have to get some ink on our hands and then try it out. Give me a couple weeks. You'll see. If you're in the West Coast and going to the San Francisco show, I will see you at the FC table. Uh, tell you more about African black soap? Hmm. I bought it at Target. I don't... That's all I know. You know some stuff about African black soap? Yes. It's made in Africa. It's shea, a certain shea butter type. And so, Bijou, is she the one who said that? Yeah. Not good for her. Shea butter naturally contains latex. It's similar oh. enough. So, she has a latex for allergy, I believe. So, don't use that for her. But, yeah, it's basically women in, I forget which part of Africa, but, yeah, they make and get the shea butter and turn it into different soap products. And yeah, people use it for their face and body. It's really good for like, sebum production and cleaning your skin. So yes, I mean, I think Shea Moisture, they have one. And if you find other smaller brands, they'll also have black and black, African black soap. So it's good stuff. Joseph asks if it's good for faces. Yes. Well, I mean... Yes. Entirely. Joseph, stop. I was like, I don't know which one it was. You should, one hundred percent for you. That would be perfect. Doesn't even matter what kind. Just go ahead and use it on your face. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it probably would be like tea tree is really good for faces, and uh, you know what? You can even use it on your feet. <laughs> uh, she's a doctor. She's a she's a doctor, so I believe her. Um, so, uh, oh, did I get to see the, uh, the travel tubes of, um, Monteverde? You know, I saw some around, but I didn't, I didn't really have time to stop at the Monteverde table, or I stopped and I talked to Niv and, uh, Kenny, and that was kind of it. Um, but I didn't actually look at much of the table. So, I saw some around, but I didn't really, I didn't really play with them. I'll have to remember to try that at the, uh, San Francisco show. Check out Dr. Squatch for good soaps, too, huh? Nice. Uh, let's see. It's better than shampoo. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Oh, man. Yeah. So, um, another um, another big hit at the show. Well, let's see some here. Emergency, your friend at shows. I don't know if this stuff is, like, good, for, like, medically for preventing illness or whatever, but it does have, like electrolytes and stuff in it so you know it's i hear it's what plants crave it's got what plants crave audrey it's got electrolytes ink soap has physical exfoliants might be a bad for faces i don't know i think it's probably um it's probably charcoal or something is what it looks like and i use charcoal soap in my face oh yeah not that stuff i'm saying just this african soap is it's different than that so. yeah 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 well he um david went to go see what the lavender content was i think david's got a lavender oh, thing he does yeah, yeah. no Oh, he knows about skincare. We 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 discuss skincare. Yeah, he's, he he's telling you. Yeah. Uh, I like a physical exfoliant thing. Let's see. Oh, Bishu says she thought she was allergic to shea butter, but it turned out to be completely unrelated Crohn's disease symptoms. Turns out shea is fine. Oh, good. So go for it, man. Um, I use it on my face a lot. I use when it's 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 gentler than the coal face for when it's you know cooler outside, but yeah. um, it's good. It's good for the old beard, you know. Um, all right, cool. So. The other thing that made a big splash was not just Ian Schoen and his uh, dope little fountain pens. It is uh, Galen Leather showed up at this show. Is that how you say it? Because I swear I heard people say Galen. You know, I actually meant so to it, ask let because me know, somebody. Everybody, uh, how do you say it? Because I'm not 100 percent sure. Lush is telling uh, Becky that uh, the 11th is National Face Mask Day. I mean, I think every day should be Face Mask Day. I'm done. Not fa- every day. I mean, it depends on what kind. of... Uh, how was the Monteverde teal ink they gave away? Don't know. I didn't get any. You've gotten those every year for many years. It's sort of shocking that you did not get this. Uh, last year I got like the last one of the blue and they didn't really even want to give it to me. So uh, they don't... Re- you say Galen, but it's more like Galen? That's... Yeah. I meant to ask and then I forgot. So anyway, the this word... Plus Leather Co. Uh, is uh, they were there and they brought they had lots of tables. It was in the small room. It was in the back. I showed uh, I showed people on the video where it was, and then I had people coming up to me the next day saying, "Hey, where is it? Where are those leather people?" And so I had to show them where they were because um, they were. It was kind of hard to find if you didn't happen to go along the back wall or have somebody direct you. But just going off the little Turkish, you know. Well, I know zero Turkish at all. 
Um, so. And they're going to be in San Francisco. I think they announced it. They weren't sure if they were going to go. Yeah, they're going to be there for sure. And also, I think Van Ness, um, uh, yeah, Lisa Van Ness so. said that yeah. she's like the exclusive U.S. Uh, seller for Galen stuff. So anything that was left over, she took with her. So that's cool. Uh, Xenia was super cool. Yeah, I like her a lot. I, um, what was the main guy's name? Yusuf. It wasn't Yusuf. That's how it's spelled. That's not how you say it. Oh. And, and I that's kept saying that. That's how I that. said it because you said it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how it's spelled. Anyway, I felt bad, but I don't. Turkish is hard, man. Uh, Super nice guy, though. Yeah, really nice dude. Super nice. Um, and he, I've got a bunch of stuff over here that he insisted I take. This we paid for. Um, this is Audrey's five pin case, right here. And I think I probably got the prettiest one of these. Not bragging, but I think well, you I... got it on Sunday though, so there could have been something else. There could have been like... something even better looking, but yeah. like the striation. I think this is called like um, crazy horse leather. I don't think it's it's not horse leather. I, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it made of horses? Like, I, it's fine, but I don't You're think like, so. I, yeah, I don't like horses, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Good. <laughs> Finally, they're useful and delicious in meatballs. Nice. Is what I hear. Um, so uh, anyway, this is uh, this is the five pin case on the outside. I think it's real pretty. It's got a nice zipper. The zipper. Somebody was saying that they weren't sure because of the zipper. It's a really nice, smooth zipper. It's got big old teeth. Yeah. It's a pretty thick zipper. Yeah. So it's not getting caught on anything. Yeah. But um, on the inside, you have a flap here. You could put a note, like a small, yeah. um, um, what do you field call notes? it? Uh, yeah, like probably field note size or, you know, like, let's see, I've got some here actually. We should put a Michael Christopher. You should put a little Franklin Kristoff in there. That'd be on brand. I'm going to put this little Esterbrook book in here. Let's see how this fits. I haven't tried it, but I think it's... Yeah, yeah. This is a good size. Yeah. Perfect, actually. There you go. Throw a little, throw a little pocket-sized notebook in there. And then uh, five, five pens. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, Joseph, you bought a house officially under contract for a new house. Congrats, Joseph. Getting a new house sucks, but it's very exciting yeah, once you actually have it done. So congrats. I'm trying to work with my mom to get a house out here, and uh, man, house shopping is terrible. So congrats, well, it's man. Well, if you're buying or selling. Uh, well, right I don't know. Probably both. Um, it fits actually pretty good sized pens. This is a Faginato PKS, which is a pretty, pretty large pen with no problem. Also fits the... Uh, Little shown design pens, no problem there either. So good stuff. These are nice loops. Uh, we'll see how they wear, but um, a lot of times loops will start out real tight and then loosen up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if these are gonna loosen up or not. We'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, we've had this for a, a week and it hasn't really been used much. So brand new, but gorgeous. But I've been enjoying the aesthetic, just looking at it. So. All right. Goodbye to all pen money forever, says Joseph. I mean, that's right after he bought a Nakaya. So that's oh, uh, that's true. He did. <laughs> the Nakaya could also be. Uh, Goodbye, all pin money forever. Here you go. Oh, well, yeah. thank you. A6, yeah, you might fit an A6 in there. Um, I don't think I have one real handy, but we'll try it out. So I'll try it out before I do a review or something. Uh, Galen's probably the same as the ancient Greek medical superstar. Spells Galen, it sounds Galen. <laughs> G-A-L-E-N sounds G-A-Y-L-E-N. That doesn't happen. <laughs> or that doesn't help. Audrey should know? I don't know if Audrey should know about Greek medical superstars. That's not really... She's not that kind of doctor. She's yeah. a PhD. Science, uh, but different kind. I know. If it was Greek, it probably... That's more in my... That's more in my bailiwick than hers. Tempt by the Kaveco holder for the tiny pens? I haven't seen that one. Post me a link, Becky. I haven't seen that one. Um, and so that's what she got. Um, and those are uh, 40 bucks is what the little five pen was. Uh, I went over there and I was looking at these which are, I think, very cool. And you're going to see this probably a lot in ink reviews and stuff. I think it's going to be a good background for photography. And also, uh, uh, you know, I use these Rhodia pads for all my ink reviews. And so this wooden thing, this kind of comes out of here like that. It's got some, like, little rubber stoppers in there. Um, it's not actually a clipboard, which might have been good, but uh, it's pretty nice. It's got big old bolts in it. It's very nicely made. I don't know what kind of wood this is. I definitely should have asked, but it's really pretty. It's got nice striations and such. Bijou says you need an you need a not that kind of doctor shirt. <laughs> she was wearing her lab coat all weekend. Did you get any comments on your lab coat? I did on Friday, but I did the rest of the weekend. Like said, it was too warm too. Yeah, too hot. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I was looking at this. Got a nice little. No, pen nobody rest said anything about it though. 
Yeah, thank you. Oh. Galen Leather Co. Zipper. Uh, Galen, perhaps. Leather uh, Co. Zippered Collector Pin Case for 14 Kavecos in Crazy Horse Brown. Oh. Well, look at that. How about that? Get one of those. Huh. Wow, I'm not going to. I don't collect Kavecos. Probably work well no, for like 45s not. or Guess something now. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the Quakos. Oh, yeah, the Quakos. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, good. For 45s. Nice. I mean, I have lots of small pens. Like the Shone pen would fit in there nicely. Yeah. Shave the inkwell. I kept bumping into you at the show videoing, and the temptation to interrupt the video to say something stupid was very strong. You could have done that. I'd be alright with that. Uh, again, the name of our favorite precious stone, and also the more kindly of the of the famous philosopher Claudius Gallinus. Uh, then it's Gallin. Uh, who was born in uh, Pergamon. Well, that's cool. Right on. Um, anyway, this is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. 14 elastic pen loops, full grain leather. Uh, Kveko Vintage Lady Pocket Safety Pens, etc. Neat. Well, I'm glad it's Lady's Pocket. I know. Yeah. Uh, oh, Lady's, comma, Pocket. Um, hmm. They have all these Lady's pens that were, like, made small so you could stick them in, like, no, those little tiny purses. Yeah. Well, whatever. Um, I can't help you there. It's just what it's called, man. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, I got this. And then we got to talk, and he's like, oh, hey, are you going to talk about this on, on YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Anything I'm good, I'm going to talk about on YouTube. He's like, oh, awesome. And so he just, like, started handing me stuff. And uh, uh, he, gave me, he really wanted me to take one of these. That which, thing is fancy. I'm it's, just going to go ahead and say. It's kind it's of just, fancy. Yeah. It's in the same leather as yours, the Crazy Horse Brown. Uh, and the zipper goes all the way around. This is a 40 pen case. Yes, yeah, chunky. You know, it's, it's like a book. Of, yeah, instead of being actually long, it's just yeah, thicker. Yeah, so I've got a 40 pen case over on my shelf, but it's one of the big portfolio ones. Yeah. And it doesn't really stand up by itself, and this 100% does. So on the inside, yeah. you have this flap, which has pen loops on either side. And then here you have a, a flap that comes down for more pens. And so none of these pins are touching, which is very nice. I do kind of wish it had double uh, double elastics, but these are pretty long elastics. A lot of the times when you see a single elastic, it's like half this big. So I don't know, we'll see. Probably it'll be fine. And then another one on this side. So 40 pens. Um, it's a lot of pens. I like this little detail where these have a bit of Velcro on them. So when you unzip it, it lays flat, which is cool. Um, yeah. So, it's an encyclopedia or something. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, it is definitely a book of a pin case, and that goes up and it says uh, so in the back, uh, Gallon Leather Company, embossed. So anyway, this is uh, this is something I'll be using and uh, you know talking about on the interwebs. But so far, gorgeous, stands up perfectly. It's gonna be nice to like just I don't know, I can just stick it over here and it can hold you pins and that there. doesn't have to lean on anything. It's yeah. uh, it's quite stiff. It's got some nice padding in here as well. So, yeah, real nice. I like it. Stitching all looks pretty tight. Good stuff. Uh, so he gave me that one. And then I was like, oh, thank you so much. That's that's very kind. Um, you know, I appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> then I was like, oh, there's something else. He had this one. These are portfolios, and I was uh, I was admiring these. And this is a color I think they just brought to uh, uh, just brought to DC. And uh, it's he had some pictures on his phone of like the way that this patinas and like I don't know um, ages, and it looked real nice. So he's like, oh, you have to have one of these too. So thank you very much to the uh, Gone Leather folks. Big chunky zipper on here, way bigger than the other ones. I mean that's a that's a thick zipper. Um, in fact, yeah. Daryl from Masubi was looking at it and he said, yeah, the zippers actually cost, probably cost more than everything else in this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this thing. So, uh, cause it's a long zipper and it's real thick and all that sort yeah. of thing. It's got a nice zipper pole that matches the rest. Um, yeah, no, oh no. Right. So, uh, this is what's inside. I got a couple of these, a couple of their Tomoe River books too. These are, I think five bucks for 128 sheets. So it's actually quite a lot of Tomoe River just one signature in there. And then uh, this is, uh, I forget how much these were. They were in sets mostly, but 
not very expensive for you know Tamari River stuff and very nice covers. I, yeah, that, it's a fun cover. Right? Yeah. It's like got a lot of stuff on it, but it's not too busy. I think mm -hmm. it's not boring. It looks nice. Um, and like look at that, look at that shine. Uh, so over here on this side, it has. Um, I'll take this out because it'll be easier to see the thing that way. It has this contraption, which means you can put in either top bound or side bound books, which I like a lot because I use the top bound books an awful lot. Uh, so you can do either on this one. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I guess you could put a key on it. It's got a little little clip thing here. Uh, somebody suggested you should zip it closed with that in there and carry it by this, but that doesn't seem like a great idea to me. It seems like a great idea to rip the stitching out of your, your book. Just but... a little charm or something. Yeah, yeah good. Um, this has pin loops here. Two separate pin loops up here, and then a big one at the bottom to hold the, the the end of the pin, which is kind of an interesting idea. And they actually have the leather bit on top, like sewn on top of these loops, which looks interesting. And I don't think I've seen that in other portfolios. So uh, let's see. Are they YKK? I you know what? There's no pull, so yeah, I actually I don't I I don't know. It's like a size eight zipper or something though. It's pretty big, but yeah, there's no zipper pull. That's where it would usually be. So I don't know. I'm gonna guess probably not a YKK, but I don't really know. Can I see that real quick? What do you want to see? This whole yeah. thing. I'm just right. curious how big these are, how it compares. I was just thinking you could put other things in here, and like lipstick or you know other. I mean, maybe things. you have like short pins up here and put a lipstick here. Yeah, or like a little thing of hand, like sanitizer. I don't know. There's something else that you could actually use that for because it's so big. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Um, there's a space behind here. You can stick, I don't know, stuff back there. I, ge I guess you could put the other flap of the notebook, but I don't want to do that. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, but you can stick your, you know, receipts or, you know, pages of paper or whatever you want back there. It is YKK. Right on. Does that say that somewhere in a description that I missed? Uh, they are. Yeah. YKK zipper. So, yeah, that's, um, I mean, felt good. So, cool. That's neat. An inky converter's keychain? Uh, yeah. yeah, I've got one of those around here somewhere. Well, mine's my keychain now. So. Mine actually was right there. I don't know where it's gone. Hmm. I mean, I probably knocked it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it probably is on the floor somewhere. Anyway, uh, then you have uh, all kinds of slots and things here to put things in. This top one is actually pretty deep. How deep are these? Oh, these are like for credit cards, is what it feels like, or other small card sort of situations. So that's cool. And then this comes out. So you can put your pens on this and take it out of the notebook if you want to. Yeah. Neat. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, I think these were going for a hundred bucks. So uh, super generous of them to, to throw that in a bag for me. I kept trying to pay them and he was like, no. <laughs> so that's, uh, that was super nice. You'll be seeing those on the channel eventually when I get to use them a bit. I do start my school semester here pretty soon, so I'll be carrying stuff. All right. Is that everything? I think that's gotta be it. That's a lot of things. It's, I'm exhausted. It's too many things. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a pen haul like that, or a, I don't think we've ever had a DC haul like that before. Usually know. DC were too busy to get stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, back in the day, when before we actually worked, well, you didn't work the show. Well, Friday. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't talk about that actually. Friday, I had uh, I had a table. Uh, Tony from WNG Pens was um, uh, he wasn't able to get there until Friday night, and so I was uh, he he wanted somebody to watch his table so that somebody didn't like take his table. And in fact, there were a few people that didn't show up on uh, Friday, and they rearranged and like took their table and maybe put some put them somewhere else, um, which is fine. So I'm glad I did that, and also it gave me a chance to sell some like. Uh, of these guys, it looks like I didn't sell any because there are so many. But we had like, we had a lot, we had a lot like two hundred and something of these things. These are our little polymer clay pen rests. I'm gonna have to put some of them up on the interwebs. Uh, probably I'll have them with me in San Francisco. But um, yeah, it it was kind of a lot of stuff. I mean, I had ended up with a lot of bottles of ink. All that happened late in the day on Sunday. That's usually how it goes when vendors are um, uh, are given bloggers stuff. Sometimes like bloggers aren't going to be there and so they'll get stuff early on or whatever But I always insist that people wait until the end of the day on the last day to give me stuff because like they could sell that stuff And I don't want to yeah. I I'm not gonna I don't want to do that. 
Um, that does mean that sometimes I miss stuff. So I was I had a couple of pins I was going to get from Carrie at Kenro uh, for review, and they uh, they packed up and bounced out of there, and I didn't have a chance to do it. So I'll get those from them at San Francisco or something. Not worried about it. But uh, there were a couple other things. Narwhal, I didn't get a Narwhal pin. They were also a big deal at the show. Uh, I had dinner with them on Thursday night. They were in with Anna, uh, and they uh, oh, they was were. Was that you? Did I want? Yeah. You didn't say the name, and I just yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It was um, Frank and. Um, crud what's the other guy from narwhal's name i don't remember but we had dinner with them and uh it was a pretty good dinner that was that was good and uh better than, better than way better than than, than, than friday Fridays. yeah that's right friday was terrible um so uh anyway they were real nice one of them used to work for pin bbs i guess and uh then they kind of went on, on their own um one of them's at tulane frank is and he's uh like he actually took a philosophy class with the guy that was one of my professors back in the day at, at bowling green uh, so that was pretty cool. Evening. Stop listening to Bach when you saw how it was streaming. I think it's fair to switch from high culture to high culture. Aw. Uh, I'll have to get real lowbrow here for you. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but they sold out before I, I went back like midway through the day on Sunday and they were sold out. Oh. I said, hey, let me get a pen from y'all. And uh, they were like, oh, we, we sold everything. I was good like, problem, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a good problem. Hopefully they'll have, I think they're going to San Fran maybe. And if they do, I'll just have to get a pen early on. They were selling these like, looked like pretty nice pens they only had one nib like they only had fine nibs i think um but they're making the nibs in-house allegedly which seems kind of cool and like a big pain but they're doing that um and they're piston fill pens they were like 36 bucks so i'm not shocked that they sold out but i'm a little surprised they they sold out that quick so i didn't get that i didn't get that what else did i not get there was something else i couldn't get because they were sold out too oh additive pens jerry from additive pens um, he had a few pens left, but he was all out of the packaging. And so he's like, well, I'd rather you have everything with the packaging. And I'm like, I don't care about that. Just give me the pen. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I want you to have the whole thing. So I get my address. He's going to ship me one. So I'll have an additive pen to show off eventually. Uh, but yeah, that was gone too. They make everything on the pen. Yeah, yeah. The Narwhal guys say they make everything. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Pretty, pretty cool. And it looks good. Writes well. I, the piston works nicely. I've got no complaints about it. He was showing me like just... just I don't know, a whole workshop, giant room full of, uh, of pen blanks. So, wow. yeah, tons. Seems neat. All right. Um, oh, and the Faginato pen. I didn't show that one. That's what I forgot about. And that's this one. So this is um, Gold and Blue Tortoise. This is the PKS size. Fred Faginato, who used to show up on the stream every once in a while in the comments, uh, uh, died suddenly a little while ago. And... Um, uh, when this is like the one of the remnants of what he made. So they went up on sale on their site uh, at Faginato and also uh, Papier Plume. And so I, uh, I found out about that. I guess it was like the Saturday before the show. Yeah. And then uh, I, I was just like, oh, these are up. I'm like, cool. So I like, stopped everything until I found the pen I wanted. Yeah, the blue spots are really cool. And you can see maybe on the camera, like there's a lot of depth in these blue spots. Yeah. Um, this is more translucent than I thought it was going to be. You can actually see the nib a little bit through it. It's kind of an interesting material. And actually, this is actually this is this is pretty tight. The threads are. Um, I think probably that'll loosen up over time or something. But it feels a little tight. We're gonna just need to put a little bit of a little bit of something on the threads. But uh, uses a Bach nib. Got that all cleaned out and stuff today, and now it writes just just great. No problems there. Um, one weird thing is that the converter they sent shipped me with this didn't actually fit. Uh, the barrel in interior is a little bit thin, so when I went to put like Schmidt K5s or whatever in there, you can see it's actually pretty thick. But maybe you just wanted to leave it thick so you'd have that depth in the material, is Which my makes guess. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I couldn't fit a Schmidt K5 in this, and the one that they had with that they sent with it didn't fit on the nipple on the uh, the housing. nib unit. The what? Housing. The housing, thank you. And uh, so I went through my collection and found this little Faber Castell one, which doesn't have any of the metal stuff down at the bottom that makes the k5 thicker and uh, this fits in there no problem so uh, there you go there you go you may there may be a few of these left at papier plume i don't really know uh, i know there weren't terribly many but these are really nice pens and uh love that clip how cool is that clip right super cool all right so that's that uh, maybe it's a bit brittle it's the proper that's a proper thick barrel uh no i don't think it's brittle at all um, well, if his, is it a cellular one that he had? Could be cellular. The one that I have, yeah, Patrick was telling me that, it, yeah, they're super brittle, so you just have to be really careful with them. Cause, 
they're prone to breaking. So I don't it's know. It's the same stuff. I have the the blue and green clear one. It's true. So that's why, yeah. Maybe it is, and that's why it's so thick. Yeah, it could be, because it is proper thick. That's definitely true. Yeah. I don't think this is breaking anytime soon. At least I hope not. Well, that. You gonna put a little bit of silicone on the thread, you think? You can check the cap inside to see if there's anything catching. Yeah, like a know. brush and brush it out and see yeah. if that helps. Anyway, I've only had this for a few days. I've only taken it out of the case like three times, so. There we go. Well, hey, Fats. You wanna get on? Yeah, you to jump up here? All right. <laughs> that that rock is what happens when she jumps on the table because uh, she's thinking of saying a proper thick. Yeah. It's uh, smell it. I don't think it smells like anything. Does cellulite really smell like stuff? Doesn't smell like anything at all. It smells totally. I don't know. Can you smell anything? No. No, I don't smell anything no. at all. No. Oh. Uh, I'll use right in. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see. There will not be. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked if Franklin Christoph was going to be at Denver. No. Nope. Not doing Denver. Now we've got. Um, I'm going to the next two shows with them. I'll be going to Dallas and to San Francisco. Yep. Uh, so if you want to find me, I'll be at the Franklin Christoph table uh, working, working hard. She'll be there at the other end of the table. Making sure he's working hard. Yep. You know. Correcting all my mistakes, hopefully. Uh, yeah. yeah. Someone's gotta do it. Somebody has to do it. So, uh, there you go. Camphor? Oh, oh, it smells like camphor. No, it doesn't smell yeah. like that at all. No, it doesn't smell like nope. that. Nope. So, the, the Friday night, uh, um, dinner story? Ugh. So, alright, so Friday night, um, it was, the pin show was over, and Audrey was finishing up with whoever her last person was. I think it was, that was the time you were there until, like, that was pretty late, no, right? No, that was Saturday. That was Saturday? Yeah. All right. So it was like... Yeah, so fairly reasonable time. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we uh, we went upstairs. We didn't like we hadn't made any dinner plans with anybody because Friday I was at a table all day. She was at a table all day. Uh, and so like we just hadn't set up any dinner plans. And uh, so I went and I was trying to contact some folks to go out to dinner with, including David here in the chat and some others. Uh, and... Um, they'd already, they'd already gone, which is, you know, totally fine. I get it. Uh, but they met in the lobby and they weren't talking online. And the, let me tell you, my biggest complaint about that DC show oh. is that, holy crap, the internet, it was absolute garbage. Terrible. Um, I paid for the, the Wi-Fi and it was a huge pain in the butt. As if you watched the walk around video, I'm sure you saw, like I was trying to troubleshoot it there in the beginning. Um, it was terrible. I mean, I paid like, oh, I gotta pay, I gotta pay Scott 25 bucks. Uh, I paid 25 bucks for that terrible internet uh but the wi-fi and there the um cellular internet was totally garbage in there wouldn't work at all andrew coon's gotta go hey andrew yeah yeah no problem it'll be around uh let's see terry g you finally made it here you must be and i must go ciao everyone thanks all right see you terry yeah. um and so i couldn't meet up with them and then eventually they saw the messages i was sending online and they were like oh no we're already at the place and they had a big table already and that sort of thing so we went to the bar and met up with some Franklin Kristoff folks, and um, we uh, we looked at the menu, and we're just like, we don't... I'm not really feeling anything that was there. The thing is, they had three different menus. Yeah, it's weird. So the one they give you at the bar just didn't have anything I wanted. I was just like, yeah. I'm, I'm over this. And then um, they got a, they had a room menu, and then they had some other kind of menu. Yeah, I don't know about like that Like a one. third menu that showed up. And so when we came back from our god-awful dinner... Um, the folks that we left were like, oh yeah, no, they, by the third menu, there were all kinds of good things on there. So we should just stay, but whatever. So Audrey gets on Yelp and starts Googling around and trying to find, uh, a good place close to the hotel that we could go and eat. Cause I had my truck there. So we just drove. Yeah, that's nice. And so she's like, Hey Mike, how would you feel about Tex-Mex? What? I know he's always going to go. Yeah. I mean, it's he's a silly question. Yes. The answer is yes. Um, and y'all know this, but, uh, yeah. So Tex-Mex. And I'm like, yeah, I'll get some Tex-Mex. This place had great Yelp reviews. Uh, it wasn't... Lots of them. I mean, like... Tons. Um, and it was all it was great reviews. I'm like, yeah, awesome. Because there was a really good Tex-Mex place, like, I don't know, half a mile or something from the hotel, but it closed up. It closed, yeah. It was good. So I was, I was very hopeful. And uh, so we go, and... Um, they're, pat they're really busy. It was slammed. We had, yeah. like, a 30-minute wait or something. Yeah. Um, and we get in there... And the menu is pretty short. Yeah. Uh, there like weren't really 
really short. There weren't that many things on it. There were mm-hmm. like it was two pages of menu, but it was like big type. Yeah. Um, the only thing they had Tex Max was that when only. That's it. One. <laughs> They had... Well, I take that back. There were there were a couple other things, but when you get there, they say, would you like bread or chips? Yeah. And I'm like, well, chips. Chips, yeah. Because Tex-Mex. And we open up the menu. We'd order drinks. And, uh... Yeah, we'd order... Yeah. We'd order, we'd order drinks. So then that was going to be coming. And we... Chips and salsa, that was going to be coming. And then we looked at the menu. And there was just nothing. Like, we looked at the menu and we were like, I don't want to eat here. It yeah. was... One side just said, like, fajitas... And they were pretty expensive. Audrey got the fajitas, and she didn't like them, but I thought they were pretty okay. They um, were bad. They were not good. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was just hungry, but I was like, I'll eat those. Those are okay. The ru- I mean, no, we're not even getting there yet. Okay, oh. anyway. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know about this menu, Audrey. And she's like, you want to leave? And I'm like, we already ordered drinks. Like, I know. I don't, I don't want to do that. And so we're like, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. We're already here. We'd have to find another place. It's We waited, yeah. I mean, it was Friday it was, night yeah. at like... 6 30 or 7 by that time like what are we gonna go right yeah. and so um <laughs> she ends up getting the fajitas and i got some like chicken tenders it's, it's either that or you get a freaking steak for 30 some dollars which i mean I don't probably want would have been garbage at that joint i mean yeah or um, you get like crab cakes or something i don't know just weird weird menu i wish this place had mango shrimp that would have been fine no um no they didn't it was no they they did not and like the fajitas Um, they made it like it was a big deal and it literally this again there's two pages it took up this much of one of those things of fajitas like that okay yeah it just said fajitas that was the title yeah uh, as someone, I'm like, well, maybe they're going to be delicious because maybe that's what they're known for and it's just fajitas. Okay, uh, okay. As, chicken tenders at a Tex-Mex? Yeah, it wasn't Tex-Mex. That was the thing. No. Um, they the only, fajitas and that's, that's it. And they gave us chips. And the chips were actually pretty good. The salsa okay. was weird, yeah, but not it was, bad. It wasn't bad. It was fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was it. I guess there was technically something called a quesadilla on the appetizers. Did they? Yeah, but it was, I looked at the, they put what was in the quesadilla, and I'm like, I don't... It was not, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't like a... a wasn't a, like it was a, weird. Yeah. Uh, but that was it. That's all they had that was Tex-Mex. And it was like burgers and steak and crab cakes and stuff. I'm like, weird. So, um, Audrey gets her fajitas, and um, I I thought they were pretty good. It had monachia on it, like this white wine butter it stuff. It was not very, I did not like that. I like it, she doesn't. It was okay. It wasn't worth the price. And, like, it was way too expensive. I, I admit I'm very weird when it comes to eating meat. I eat meat, but I'm just weird. And oh, you're just very picky. I, yeah, yeah, I admit it. I am. And I don't like to eat things with skin on it. And so it was a chicken breast, but it had the skin on it. And then I just felt gross, like, peeling the skin. I Again, I know it's just me, and it's not weird, but I was just like, I don't... And I had this, the the Montequilla sauce. I didn't really like that. And then I was like, okay, well, at least I'll have all the vegetables underneath. Literally, it was just, like, some onions, and that's it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was the only... I get some peppers or something else? Anything, you know? Oh. And the rice sort of... It was so bland. It was just rice with these little seed things in there. I don't even know what that was. And then the beans that came with it, there were chara beans, so it has pork in it. Again, I'm weird. I don't eat pork. That's fine. So I just this had to wasn't my... this was like sometimes like chara beans. I'll put like a little bit of like you know bacon fat or something in it. No, this was like barbecue this is like, in there. It had just... barbecue like, yeah. and it was like I didn't hate the beans. I'll say like the beans were probably my you favorite. You got beans thing. on the side of yours. Yeah, yeah, they're, that was my favorite thing. They need a Waffle House. Hell yeah, they need a Waffle House. I would have one ever <laughs> had Waffle House over this and saved a bunch of. Money. Eric says Chili's menu does suck, dude. I would I would take a Chili's oh, literally every day over this. A, a fajita from Chili's any day over this garbage. And uh, oh d- my god. Also, I tell you what, I actually I like Chili's quite a lot. I eh. I got no problem with Chili's. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been to Chili's in a while. No, we haven't. Um, she's gonna be like, that's because we're trying not to be fat. Well, whatever. Well, I love yeah, Chili's. Yeah, you don't eat out when you're trying to eat, eat better know. and not be fat. I uh, had no hope of being a vegetarian. Oh, there's lo- there's plenty of vegetarian stuff around, but it's not easy. Uh, and not super easy to it. find. Um, but yeah, anyways, so this place was trash. Um, th- no, these chicken tenders of this place had 
they looked good, like they did it in an interesting batter or whatever. Yeah, it looked like they were going to be delicious. You're like, oh, look, they're it sort of looked really crispy. Yeah, and- it was. It had a good crispiness. It wasn't over fried. It looks like it had. Um, uh, like a lot of like black pepper in it, like it was yeah. speckly. It looked it, like they were gonna. I'm like, I wish I would have gotten that. They tasted like nothing. <laughs> like they just uh, just tasted like nothing. You ever put a chicken tender in your mouth and been like, did I put a thing in my mouth? Because there was nothing. Texture was fine. There was no flavor. It was the weirdest damn thing. I like the tortillas. They're sort of thicker. Which mm-hmm. I, am, I appreciate. I think so they I made the tortillas like in house. So that was good. But that was it. Um. All the chilies in the media area of the Beltway have been closed. Oh, that sucks. Sometimes mediocre known is way better than disgusting unknown. I don't know, man. Like, I would make it. I, I'll make an argument that like a chicken ranch sandwich at Chili's is legitimately good. And also, Chili's used to have Tex-Mex, and it was pretty darn good. Um, they don't have it anymore, but that's what I would order. Hey, nose, what's up, bud? Just hanging out. So anyway, yeah, it sucks. There's a great Greek restaurant a few minutes away that's family run. I'll put get the name and email it to you. Cool. Uh, that would have been fine. We used to eat at, um, was it a, was it a Greek place or Lebanese place or something across the street from the other, uh, DC venue? Yes. That, that place is real good. really good. But, yeah. Dallas has much better food, but it's not close. The Dallas food is far, but it, yeah. I'm, I'm very looking forward to, to just going to the same yeah, Mexican place year, every day. We, yeah, we go to the same <laughs> Mexican place. We just Uber there because so, we don't have a vehicle. Yeah. And just, what was just, the, what was the terrible restaurant's name? Was that Stagecoach? No. Silverado. Silverado. Those of you who are in the area, don't go to Silverado. Don't. It's very not good. Should have had Bon Me. Yeah, should have had Bon Me. That would have been better, for sure. I don't know what that is, but sure. Uh, those are the sandwiches, right? Those are the sandwiches. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that weird sandwich I had on. Uh, it was good. No. Yeah. I yeah. Imagine. Well, you know, it's gonna go. Uh, you'll have a car in Dallas. Cool. Uh, agree you should have had Bon Me. Well, look, I had Bon Me on Sunday, I think it was. It's quite good. There was poke like seven minutes. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Pokey? Pokeball? Yeah. Pokeball. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Um, Brian uh, Brian Chu actually made a bunch of pokey. Um, or poke. I don't actually know. I'm, I don't know, man. Um, but... Uh, yeah, he made some on Saturday, I think, and I couldn't catch him. Like I'd see them walking around with the the big, you know, bowls of uh, fish and rice and stuff at Poke, cool, and I could not catch him, man. <laughs> like every time I go there, they just left. And then I found Sandra and uh, Tiante, and they had pizza, and so I ate pizza instead of Poke, which is fine with me. But uh, yeah, well, I mean, if you don't know the area, it's hard to find. Yeah, Vietnamese meat sandwiches. That's right. They definitely had jalapenos. Also, a lot of cucumber, which I would not have had on there if I'd known, but it really kind of dominated the flavor. Um, yeah, I didn't actually... I remember the poke sandwich was pretty good. The bread was fantastic. Um, I don't think I could taste the meat, weirdly enough. Like, it just didn't... I don't know. The meat didn't have much of a flavor to it. But, yeah, the jalapenos and vegetables and stuff in it were really good, aside from the cucumber, which is poison. But uh, the rest of it was very good, so... And the bread. I, should have, I would have brought you some bread, but it was probably pork. So. Probably. Yeah. So anyway, that was, uh, yeah, that was Friday night. So uh, everybody else had great food, and we had terrible, terrible food on Friday night. Saturday night, we had good food at, um, what's this place called? Barrel and something? Barrel and book. Barrel and... <laughs> it was at Tyson's Corner. It was Barrel and something. And uh, <laughs> it was very, very good. I like that a lot. How are the show special inks? Um, I got one of them. Uh, which was the uh, spruce knob from Papier Plume, and uh, I haven't. I've only gotten one pen yet. It's a little bit light, um, but uh, I didn't get the one the turquoise that was for the show. Um, they usually hand all those out, and so vendors don't really get them. And I had a vendor pass, so didn't get it. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Well, it's Pizza Friday, and that's what I'm having. Are you having pizza? Bush b- barrel and bushel. Barrel and Bushel is the name of this place. Definitely check that place out. It's good. I think I said Bush, but I was like, that doesn't sound right. Barrel and Bush? I don't know. Maybe that's where you put bushel. the barrels. I don't know. Barrel and Bushel. It was good. Uh, what's for dinner? Yep. Uh, pizza is for dinner. Pizza. I don't know. You having pizza? I'm starving. <laughs> Probably pizza. You're going for Korean, Laura. Nice. That sounds good. Yeah. We had uh, we had Indian food last night. Um, I mean, it was Hence ta- the nose being... Hence nose having Vindaloo on him. Because he was sitting on my lap and I was trying to eat Vindaloo and 
Look, maybe I dropped him some some Vindaloo, you know. Um, Indian was hella good on Saturday. Yeah, we had the we had the other the thing with Franklin and Kristoff on Saturday, so I didn't get to go to that. But that sounds like it'd be good. I do like Indian food. It's one of those foods that I didn't ever grow up with, so I don't know much about it. But I mean, you tell me it's a curry, and I'll eat most things. I'm into it. Uh, got some tasty curry puffs too. I did have a curry puff from um, uh, yeah from from Do. Those were good. Also, uh, Tiante brought uh, pasties. Which were very good. Did you ever get to eat yours? Scott had some of it. Scott had most yeah. of it. It um, they brought it was uh, what feta and, and feta spinach and, and feta. Spinach and feta yeah. I almost ordered one of those too. It's good. I got lamb. I got lamb curry actually in that one. It was quite good. I liked it a lot. So curry puffs are delicious. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, yeah. No, we're. Uh, oh Jesus, five forty-two. Yeah, that's why I'm starving. <laughs> well. Let's go ahead and sign off because <laughs> uh, it's been uh, almost two hours and uh, we've yeah. worked out and not eaten. We have so. so many things to show, so, you know. I know. Well, and we had to tell our terrible food story and talk about other well, stuff. I mean, so. yes. It was so yeah. bad. It was, like, <laughs> we were just laughing most of the um, way through. We like, this is just ridiculous. Missed the margarita cupcakes? I did not miss the margarita cupcakes, actually. I had uh, I had a margarita cupcake, I, I think. I had cookies, mostly. Yeah, she had cookies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I got one of those cupcakes. It was good. You had them in the bar. Yes. Uh, enjoy the pizzas. I'm gonna. Oh, we will. Thank you. Pizzas will be uh, entirely devoured. devoured. So yes. that's what's up. Also, um, uh, garlic bread of some kind, cause, cause carbs. Cause I always require <laughs> to have garlic bread of some kind, and if I don't get it, Mike will hear about it because I always, always want a bread if there's a bread available. You know. <laughs> One time I did order stuff and didn't have a bread, and I got uh, I got scolded. No, but it wasn't pizza that time. It was we got something else. Yeah, we got then, sandwiches from Domino's. Sandwiches, is what it was. and then I was like, "Where's the bread?" And yeah. he's like, well, "What bread?" I'm like, "We obviously should have bread with this, right?" I don't know. You have bread with it. <laughs> David said frosting was a mistake. I don't know. That frosting is frosting is pretty good. Tequila, the tequila frosting. I'm into it. <laughs> bread is never a bad choice. But. Yes, I agree. whoever said that, yes. It was uh, Bijou Sarah. Uh, that's my weakness. It's a weakness. I What's my weakness? Bread! Carbs and oh. bread, yes. <laughs> Yas plus buttercream cup? Well, oh, you're eating, yeah, you're, that's right, you were just eating frosting, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Goodness. Look, I didn't gain any weight this weekend, so that was, uh, that was good. Uh, Audrey actually hit the gym, so. I did not have time to gain weight this weekend. No. Sandra tried. She was helping with the cookies, but yeah. Yeah. Sandra also brought like Jello shots and. Uh... Oh, that's right. <laughs> when you asked me if I wanted one. Sandra said she lost four pounds in oh DC. Oh my gosh! Holy <laughs> crap! Jeez. Uh, I did not. I think I'm. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't lose or gain really in DC. So maybe I gained a pound. But like a pound here or there when you're this that's size is not a. Like, that means I had a sandwich. Uh, isn't it redundant to have bread plus pizza or a sandwich? God, no. <laughs> well, bread with a sandwich? Yeah, no, sure, why not? I Who mean, cares? It's, <laughs> it's American to have bread with bread, right? Yeah, Jim, I mean, this this is America. We, we have bread with our bread. Yo, dog, I heard you like bread. I like is, bread. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, garlic bread with a pizza makes total sense to me, so... Yeah, classic combination. No, yeah, and yeah, sandwich with bread and then bread on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to have both bread. No, you don't just get meat yeah, yeah. without a sandwich. You have to have it as a sandwich and then have. Sandwich. We used to do that at uh, Cohen and Cook back in Ohio, with the sandwiches. They always had bread on the side of the sandwiches. Oh, did they? Yeah, there was this that. place in uh, Bowling Green, Ohio, which was like a four-star joint for some reason. Um, it was. Totally weird. It was this little place that was really only open for dinner yeah, on the was, weekends. Oh, you're like, when is this place open? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they were open for lunch every day. They made sandwiches. But and just then, for a couple, like, it wasn't a full lunch yeah. time thing. Just a couple of, just a couple hours. Um, and they always had great sandwiches. They were always like yeah. made up on the spot. The chef guy there, well, I don't know. They had know. like a little thing you could make your own. And depending on the day, they had certain meats and certain cheeses and certain breads that you could, again, every day it changed. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and there's also a box you could just check for chef special, and that's just yeah. like, make me a sandwich, bro. And that's the kind of person he is. I would never do that, but no. he'd like to sort of yeah. see what would come out. I loved it. 
And then dinner, uh, when they did it on Friday and Saturday nights, only Friday and Saturday nights. Yep. Uh, and it was always, you had a choice between a five course meal or a seven course meal. Yep. You don't know what it is before you go. You just show up. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and uh, that was that. So that was fun. That's uh, Scraggles in the back. We did that one time because we were graduate uh, students. And we did it at least twice. I did not. I really? was only once. I, oh. only, I, had, I had their lunches, but only dinner once. You know, the first time I went with, with Chris. So, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, just once. Because it was like 50 bucks a plate or something like that. It's not... Yeah. I mean, it's a plate. It's seven mm-hmm. plates. But, <laughs> you know, still. And also, like, a flight of wine came with it, I think. Or at least it was very inexpensive it to add did, on. It did. Because that's why we learned about the Grinch de Miner. That's yeah. right. Yep. Uh, yeah. If you love lasagna with garlic bread, you don't get it? Dude. You give me lasagna, I want uh, a garlic bread. I will... Yes. Yeah. Yep. Surprise me? That is a thing I legitimately say at most places. Beer? Yeah, yeah you say... Well, you give a little bit of stipulation, but... Yeah, I don't really like IPAs or sours. I'm like, no IPAs or sours, otherwise, whatever you want. Um, and then they're like, oh, do you like it? I'm like, probably, yes. <laughs> Just bring me a thing, it's fine. Bread with pasta makes more sense than bread with bread. Look, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Things bread... don't have to make sense to you. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> That's good. Sweet and sour soup doesn't make any damn sense, and she likes it. So, that's or delicious. hot and sour, hot and sour soup, yeah. and sweet and sour salt. I mean, that's yeah, a different thing. Gross and weird, but there you go. Anyway, we're gonna have some pizza with bread. Uh, I'm not gonna tell the pizza guy to surprise me because I don't know you can't really do that. But yeah, yeah. there you go. All the carbs. That's right. I want some carbs with my carbs. Give me a carbs with two sides of carbs, please. All right, folks. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to sign off. And then we didn't. So we're going to get some food. We'll see y'all later.